first blade. Now there is one of those achievement things for completing, beating Twin Bellows with, oh no, sorry, Dark Lord Gal with a first blade, so we might want to just buy it for when we're eventually doing that in 100%. But I, I don't mind just buying this, the cheap ones also, just to have more uh, fuse fodder, so to speak. How about this huge draw club? Let's have a look at that. Value 309, that's one of the highest we've had. And it's got extra melee dash attack and probably uh, some solid dash melee attack regard uh, on top of that. Only two stars melee. Oh, it even does that little like uh, energy wave that they were hitting me with earlier. Yeah, not bad. 211 is pretty good for this sort of thing. Oh, actually the base melee attack kind of sucks though, right? Because it's only two stars. It's got a pretty high chance to do petrification, but like I'm saying, I'm I'm gonna I'm guessing that doesn't do anything for the uh, doesn't help you in the boss fights. I don't know that for a fact, obviously. But sweet, uh, that could have gone so much smoother, but also could have gone so much worse. It was a very unusual chapter, considering five gave me so much trouble, and then I almost nailed nine the first time until everything is like just starkly suddenly went wrong right in the middle there. But then I got it back in the end and it wasn't actually that hard. It was a very unusual progression. Let's have a look through all our all that we can fuse now and see if anything uh, strikes my interest. Actually, I'd just like to quickly try that uh, side dash charge shot on the Tiger Claws. Yeah! 47. That's not actually that thrilling. Because it's the only one, one star ranged melee anyway. Oh, I guess all the claws do that where their little dash attack is like a, 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 a volley of like five or six shots. Didn't realize. That's cool. So basically, any claws we find that have the continuous shot, uh, t continuous dash shot, that's good stuff. I wonder if the question mark, question mark, question mark ones aren't necessarily that there's there's nothing that can make, as much as it, it might be one that you don't have the recipe for yet, kind of thing. Because there are some weapons you can unlock, like Sagittarius bows, and also some of them are named after the bosses, which makes it sound like you can only get them once you've completed that chapter. Like we've got the Twin Bellows Cannon, the Gowl Blade, and the now the Huge Draw Club. Ooh, it's a Samurai Blade with some pretty high stats. Loses the Petrification, Melee, and Dash Attack, and Item Attack, though, and those are some of the better ones this thing has. Make a Fortune Bow with Melee Dash Attack. Isn't there something that I can mix with Fortune Bow with to make a Upper Dash Arm? Make an Upper Dash Arm, sorry. I can make an End All Arm if I do Fortune Bow with Flintlock Staff, but I could have sworn Fortune Bow had something. I, I must have fused it already, I guess. Do I have any set, set, assortment of anything? Okay, so Burst Blade and Ninja Palm do uh, Upper Dash Arms. So if I could find a way to get either a Burst Blade or a Ninja Palm that's got that melee dash attack on it, Wolf Claws and Ninja Palm also do it. Ah, so I could fuse these two and I would get a Wolf Claw with melee dash attack, and then we could try and fuse that to the Ninja Palm to get a melee dash attack covered arm. It's not much melee star, many melee stars in that, but the melee dash attack itself might be enough that that, like, I don't know if like maybe it's exponential or whatever. Um, I want to try that, but first I just want to try this easy cannon out and see what it's like. I don't have much love for the cannons, orbitars, and palms yet, and so maybe I'll change my mind on that. Okay. This one's got some some ranged stars on it. That's it's, it certainly does stack up the damage. How fast does it charge? Pretty fast, and that's this sort of thing. Not horrible. Ooh, neat. Oh, right. Okay. So you, the point of this thing is to be like really throwing on those uh, charge shots. Also, this thing has side dash continuous fire is powerful. Ah, they're only like t 27. Wait, what? The forward one's so much more strong. Or no, I guess that's. Just, just the way the forward dash one is, I guess. That's pretty cool, but if I could get that upper dash arm with the melee thing on it, then absolutely we want that. So let's give that a whirl. I already forgot how I did it. <laughs> Where are those wolf claws? Here we go. No, not this one. Oh my god, I cannot remember for the life of me how I was about to make those wolf claws. I make raptor claws with a melee dash attack. We don't know if that's any good. Here we go. Let us give it a whirl. Um, Boosh. And also, let me just quickly get a sense of how much that's uh, doing on these wolf claws here. Because really, ranged is where these things have their their most power here. It's got a whole bunch of little things. Backward dash continuous fire is also pretty sweet. Oh, it scatters everywhere. So melee dash attack, 97 on this thing, which I think is, is decent for claws. So if we got out on an upper dash arm, but I think that that we did that just then such that we could still make those raptor claws that had the melee attack dash, and we probably do want that as well. Just to have some variety in what actually has the melee dash. Oh, we could also make stealth claws that have the melee dash attack. I feel like we've had raptor claws less though. So I'm gonna do that. With the somewhat staff, which is pretty high stats in, in certain things, but I haven't had much use for it yet. And we did this huge all club we just got. Let's give it a whirl. Fuse that and see what we can manage with these raptor claws. If anything, I'm just kind of curious. You can add some melee dash attack to a club here. That's neat. Oh, yeah. Th this must actually be have a, a result that you can make with it because it's telling me which which effects it will carry over. Make a compact arm with melee dash attack plus four if no upper dash arm. There we go. Here's your upper dash arm. 
Naturally, it doesn't want to give us the melee dash attack for it. Oh, come on, really? Everything but the melee dash attack? This is just cruel. Question is then, can I, is there any way I can make another ninja palm to try and re-roll that? Because I'm, I'm guessing there's some amount of RNG or it matters which uh, which things the ninja palm already has on it. Okay, unfortunately, this gets rid of our burst blade, which I was going to use on Twin Bell's way down the line, but that's all right. Uh, so now Wolf Claws plus that? No, now it has even less. Does the number of stars maybe have something got to do with which skills it chooses to keep, or is it just like purely random? I, I can't figure out looking at these two why it's choosing the skills it's choosing uh, to keep here. I, I guess if I just keep making, I could just keep mixing stuff with melee dash attack on it until we end up with one that gives us an upper dash arm and and rolls it right. Because it, it might make more sense to do that because this one actually has melee dash attack plus four, which is what we would really want on it, I guess. Why not? Let's experiment around a bit here. Ooh, but then the electroshock arm as well, right? Uh, that one is what Dark Pit has in Smash, and it does a fair bit of damage when you sprint to people with it. Uh, let's try Electroshock Arm and see what that's doing. I don't love their melee attack range. Like, it's it's all, it's all not bad, I guess. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have something if you... The charge attack, it like plants a mine on the ground. No, it's a different weapon I'm thinking of. Anyway, this melee dash attack is now 200. That's pretty good. Um, I think we could get even up to like in three or four hundreds if we had it on a uh, an upper dash arm. But that, that'll do for now for like my the purpose of what I'm thinking, I guess. What, what I was trying to get to happen. But it seems like the upper dash arm just is a little bit more in that department. So if I can just keep uh, grandparenting in this melee dash attack plus four onto like everything and until I get something that will likably fuse into an upper dash arm with it, that would be pretty sweet. Oh, wow. Flintlock Staff plus this equals a six-star Royal Blade with side dash, shot, side dash shot, charge shot plus two. <laughs> Interesting. Not sure I want to give up my Flintlock Staff for it just yet. Then again, that Flintlock Staff doesn't have... The only thing it's got is the dash continuous fire, and I wasn't really using that as much as the charge shot, I guess. Oh, go on. I'm interested in what this six-star Royal Blade feels like. Let's give it a whirl. Charge shot is... Oh, it's like a spread fire thing, so if they all hit... Oh no, that's just like a little visual effect. Okay, so that's like that. And the repeated fire is not bad. It's kind of like our bullet blade. Not quite that uh, a tier, but maybe it's got a bit more range and stuff. And the side dash shot? Not as impressive as I was imagining from the plus two. Glad I tried it anyway. A six star ranged one uh, will be good for fusing. Interesting, so it doesn't it doesn't take like exactly the average. I think there's like a bit of variance in it, but clearly you can see here if I give it one that's six star ranged and one that's six star melee, it gives about three stars in both. So it's kind of trying to average it out, but like there's a bit of randomness in it, I suppose. When it says melee combo plus three, that doesn't mean you get extra hits. I'm guessing it's just meaning that the that further hits in the combo do more damage, I guess? Or maybe it's faster or something. Gonna mix these wolf claws into a tiger claws and to make a skyscraper club with the melee attacks, the sprinting melee attack. And does that do anything for us? I can now mix it with a violet palm to make a crusader blade that keeps the melee dash attack. Pop at Orbitars, that's if I mix it with the other Skies here, but we don't want to do that. Let's try it, mix it with the Valet Palm and get a Crusader Blade with melee dash attack, and then let's see what that Crusader Blade can fuse uh, to give us. Damn well nothing. <laughs> One bow, Ogre Club, Brawler Claws, very few of which actually keep the dash attack. Shucks, I've kind of backed myself into a corner on that one. I've got two ninja palms here that are basically a... No, sorry, that's not right. <laughs> let's, mix, let's mix these two palms to make another Electroshock Arm. And then, because I haven't fused much much with electric shock arms, let's see what the electric shock arm can make. Wow, I don't really understand by what metric, but if you mix this one with a two star melee and the other one with a six star melee, it becomes a one and a half star melee. It occurs to me that that skyscraper club that I had that was doing like 190 damage with the range attack is only a one and a half star range. So if we had a way better range stat on that, it would be like super good, wouldn't it? Unless that's power attack plus one that that was doing that. That could be as well, I guess. Oh, well, why not? Let's give this go. Royal, no. Maybe, well, no, sure. I don't think I've ever tried a Halo Club. So Royal Royal Blade plus Wolf Claws to make a, f a four and a half star ranged uh, club with extra side dash charge shot. So first of all, the range attack, 88. The side dash charge shot ranged, 139. Okay. So the Skyscraper Club is really just good is what we're learning for the range attack. Uh, unless it, oh, you know what? It does also have full health boost. So maybe... Maybe I'm only thinking it's doing this much damage because in training mode I'm counted as having full health. Because this thing does like 200 damage, which 
If I get a six star one, that would be like bringing up to like 400 damage. Absolutely, I want that. It's just hard to say precisely how that all works. Shock Orbitars. It seems like perhaps it's organized such that you can never fuse a weapon, two weapon types and have it become the same as either of them. Like, if you fuse a bow and something else, it'll never be a... Like, like if you fuse a bow and a blade, it'll never... The, the result will never be a bow or a blade. So if I want an arm, namely an upper dash arm with this melee dash attack plus four, I need to get two things that aren't arms. If I fuse this electroshock arm away, I'll be giving up that the 200 that I do have, but um, I could have a chance of getting it on an upper dash arm, which is better. So I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna start trying to fuse it away into other stuff and see about somehow looping back around to an upper dash arm in the end. I can make it back into a huge draw club with melee plus four. Ooh, ninja palm with melee dash attack plus four. Ah, but that takes away my earth maw club. But that would be good because we know that ninja palms can make upper dash arms with the right partner. Ugh, and cutter palm, but that takes away my good skyscraper club. You know what? It's sacrifice I'm gonna make because uh, we'll find another skyscraper club. This one isn't actually all that special is what I'm learning. Oh, but then... Maybe I do want to give away the Earth Mall Club. I'll get another six-star club eventually, right? If this is... I mean, yeah, I know this is a sacrifice for the greater good that I'm making here, I think. Because uh, we, we got a chance to try out that club. We had our fun. But now a Ninja Palm can make an upper dash arm that will definitely, definitely keep... I need more Wolf Claws. <laughs> but it'll definitely for sure keep the melee dash attack, and then we can have an upper dash arm with the melee attack, and everything will be perfect in life. It's gotta make claws. Why do none of these make claws anymore? No! I have no recipes for claws! I buy any claws? Oh... They pricey. I'll buy one. Why did I do that? I can't fuse claws to make claws. I just got finished saying that. Why am I dumb? I can fuse it with other stuff to make... Uh, it gives me a bit more variety though, and that's really what I need here. So let's just fuse some stuff that oh, we're not sure about and see what we come up with. I'm running out of weapons to experiment with here. Orbitars, yeah, we don't have many of those. So if I, I make some some Garbo Orbitars here that I am, I'm not thinking about at all, then we, we see about fuse. I have two Ninja Palms, do I? Oh yeah, this one, that's not as impressive. Yeah, these Orbitars, I can make some claws out of them if I mix them with the Skyscraper Club. Uh, it's fine, there's still a way through, there's still a way, there's still a way somewhere in here in all this mess of inventory that I'm, my brain is melting looking at. Ooh, don't do that. If I mix it with this other Ninja Palm, I get, a Babel Club, and the Babel Club, you see, um, we mix that with the Orbitars and get Stealth Claws. That's the move, maybe. You can also get a Staff if I mix it with the Crusader Blade. I also haven't really been using this Fortune Bow, much as I love the idea of the backwards dash continuous fire. Sorry, just thinking about it here, how, how powerful is that, or can I do away with that at this point? That bow was kind of like my first love. It was like our, our first real weapon, but maybe it's been out of class by now. Yeah, only doing 60, but I mean, it does fire pretty fast, and, and the fact that you can do it all just running away is pretty sweet, and it has some solid range. That thing might still have some use. I don't know if anyone cares about this part of it. I might just cut all this ahead to see if I can cut ahead to when I actually have managed to make this into an upper dash arm somehow. I also have never tried a volcano arm, so maybe that's things that this thing's melee dash attack is pretty good. Oh, this electric shock doesn't uh, arm to, is not the one that had uh, melee dash because we already fused that, of course. So fusing it into a somewhat staff is maybe not a bad move. Let's give that a whirl. Oh, you can use that to make an upper dash arm. Interesting. Somewhat staff plus silver bow. And not much else has come from that, actually. Ooh, this Crusader Blade is the one that has melee dash attack 3 on it, so... Let's fuse it, see what we get. Cutter palm, what that opens up for us. Because I'd also probably take an upper dash arm with the plus 3 on it. I really would, I, I, I want to keep this thing around until I can get a plus 4, but... Two seconds, let me just replay, um... Chapter 2 on, like, difficulty 7 here and get some stuff... Oh, I have a, a stupid weapon equipped, don't I? Somewhat stale, let's not. Maybe we go back to Bullet Blade for this one. I want to see if I can get that upper dash arm before this is out. It's incredible how, it, with difficulty 7 being just like a hint uh, of like the enemies are a hint weaker and have a hint less health and a hint and deal a hint less damage, and it somehow it makes it like ex astronomically easier. I guess there are also fewer of them, and their attack patterns are a little less aggressive as well. There's that. So it's a number of factors, even though 7 is only too less than 9. There's why math tells me. Oh, you can actually kill that thing before you have to. Like, before it hits the wall. That's cool. Didn't take a single bit of damage. Yay. Yes, he must have scrambled to build it after Medusa's Right, reaction. that was my first damage. <laughs> also kidding. Sure you were. No claws yet. Also, these little weapon unlock altars, uh, to my knowledge, uh, on repeat times, they just, just, there's nothing there. 
when you go, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Like, maybe it's a, it's a difficulty thing. Like, if you're on a higher difficulty than seven, you do get repeat rewards from them. But I think chiefly their purpose is just to unlock the next... Uh, unlock that red weapon, as far as I can tell. Hey, finished with full health and everything. And when I'm playing here, I'm like, man, that was so easy. How did I ever have trouble with that? But I think Intensity 9 is, like, leagues harder than 7, especially for that kind of mission. Uh, okay, I got a bow and an arm and a club. Um, and Heart Booster 2 was new. Let's see if all that... And maybe that's put another one of these in the store. Sure, a royal blade. Let's, let's buy that. Optical blade, why not? I'll just get as many weapons as we can so we can fuse a bunch of stuff. Fuse fodder, as I call it. Right, okay, make wolf claws. Already we can make some wolf claws. Uh, rather not do it with the bullet blade, though, if I can help it. There we go, optical blade and somewhat staff. So these wolf claws, plus that ninja palm that has the melee dash attack, plus four on it, makes... Doesn't carry it over. Why doesn't it let me choose? It's so mean. But it's we, we're pretty sure it's like random each time. So if I just keep making wolf claws, right? One of these times, right? Let's make a sonic cannon that's got melee dash attack on it. Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that's the stuff right there. Did we say that optical blade has some way of making? Let's get this melee deck attack plus four onto the optical blade, even though I get that's burning our da melee dash plus three. Uh, I can make wolf claws, but it Right, that's what I was thinking of. Never mind, okay. Um, that is not much. <laughs> I can make a palm that has the melee dash then, and then maybe I mix that with the wolf claws. Of course, that means getting rid of the fortune bow. No. Oh, sorry, fortune bow. I really want this, f this upper dash arm thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we suddenly fusing with the upper dash arm? No, I definitely clicked the bow one. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, none of its fuses I want to actually keep the melee dash attack. Except for this one. At least this thing kept the backwards dash continuous fire, so I could put that back on something, in theory, later on. Oh, go on. I'm gonna buy these two as well and see if I can... I just... If I can... Once I get... I, I can just rest easy once I've got one, right? That is an upper dash arm with the melee dash attack, because then I can, I can know that I've got a solid melee weapon for whenever we want to do that. And I can stop, like, obsessing over it in the meantime. The only thing it really wants to pass down the melee dash attack to is the easy cannon, so I guess we do that. Oh, I could also pass it down to the orbitars by getting rid of this upper dash arm. Yeah, we may as well, if, I'm, if, I'm, if my end goal is to try and get another one anyway. I can make more artillery claws uh, this time, ones that have the melee dash attack. And actually, with the backwards dash continuous fire, it would be even more than... Uh, what I've got this one doing. Although this one's just dash continuous fire, so that's any direction I dash as the, the spread fire has extra damage, which is neat. Oh, but that's losing my skyscraper club anyway, and we, we want to have some things that we don't just throw right away, I guess. The bullet blade, the artillery claws, and our skyscraper club are the ones I didn't want to get rid of. I also really didn't want to get rid of the fortune bow or the upper dash arm, but I've already done them now, so... <laughs> But we should keep- we should at least hang on to this so we have one reliable melee weapon we know about. That's where- we already had a huge draw club with the melee dash attack was for. That's actually where we got it from, isn't it? Initially, so I don't know that that'll actually help us. Oh, well, but I'm gonna get it. Or wait, let me check the other ones first. Actually, I feel a voice within me that it's telling me to fuse these two, and I'm not sure why. I'm gonna follow my gut. I have no idea why it's telling me to do this, but... Standard Orbitars, what do they allow us to make? A rail gun? <laughs> For one thing. But we so seldom have cannons and railguns, so I may as well make this, um, and see what that can fuse with us, because it's, cause it's gonna keep the, the melee attack. Now I can make a sword, and that's all, uh... Alright, I need more weapons. I'm gonna go back to another mission. <laughs> we probably have a lot of idle tasks queued up, don't we? Oh yeah, let's do that as well, uh, while we're here. Yoink! Boogity, yoink. Icy aura, yoink. Shimum. And splonk, minos. On that thought, do we have an idol of the upper dash arm to confirm that I'm not going crazy and it actually does have a good melee dash attack? Oh yeah, we do, because I remember making a snide joke about it and everything. Backward dash shot, charge off, and lift foes in the air while regular melee attacks are weak. Melee dash attack deals massive damage. Okay, right, it's not mad imagination. It is very good for that. Pretend the cause would probably be good for fighting the boss this one. It's crazy all the now difference a weapon can make. This mission is so much easier right. on 9, even. People need your help. I'd better get you over there. Now we've got some higher tier weapons. Also, taking down this thing is way, way easier when I'm not using any stupid club. Because, uh... Ow. Except for that time when I didn't dodge it well. Um, because you can run so fast, it's very easy to get to the back. Uh, with this kind of weapon. Miss me. There, we're gonna hit me because I was all tired. But then I was untired. Why is there still someone shooting arrows? Just get gone. Oh, that thing shoots arrows from its top? I didn't know that. A huge draw club. Hopefully another one with melee dash attack plus four. That'll be good. 
Oh, you can do a dodge and then into a charge shot if you time it right. That's kind of cool. Like, as in you can dodge into a charge shot. Rather than just uh, only doing it as a dash with no dodge on the end. Also, look how fast this fight goes down with this uh, artillery claws and, and super crazy widespread fire shot it does. Bam! <laughs> the spread fire each of them doing 20 brings it down like 10 seconds. It's crazy. All right, please tell me one of those was enough that I can now make my precious upper dash arm. This could almost be its own episode now, just the, my quest for to make an upper dash arm with me melee dash attack plus. Let's make the the, the stealth the raptor the stealth claws. Imperial attack boost plus six sounds like it would be good. Too bad I want an upper dash arm. All I can make is clubs. Why is this just my life now? The episode has been over for an hour and a half. Let's make a flintlock staff that has the melee dash attack. Is it a real gun? No, I can't make anything that does the melee dash attack. Can I buy anything else, please? <laughs> I, I will get this, I just need to spend enough money. I don't have a problem. I can stop whenever I want. We said the burst blade had some point for this. I know I'm spending all of my money now, but I'll make it back. We haven't had eye track orbit ours in a while. Let's see if that does something for us. I don't remember how we made ninja palms. Is it fine if I Google things? I think that's not unfair. Surely the wiki will have some clues as to what you want to fuse to make it. Oh yeah, it's got a whole list here. Oh, m marvelous. Okay, um, I guess I'll be spoiling myself a little on some weapons that we don't have yet, but we still have that samurai blade. No, I fused that away. It's weird, it's like sorted into these boxes and I don't know what, I don't know why. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, it was it wasn't showing up right because it was uh, of the mobile version. But there's it's it's because it's it's sorting it by claws by palm, blade by palm, staff by bow, etc. Right. Well, really, what I need to worry about is oh, oh my god, <laughs> this is so difficult. I'm not very good at this. Where do I have the melee dash again? It's on the flintlock staff. So I need to find. Well, first of all, is there anything that you can just mix the flintlock staff with? A meteor bow! Oh, we know, we can actually make those. Meteor bow and bear claws. See if we can try and track down either of those things and just make it straight out of the flintlock staff. Sorry, was that bear claws or beam claws? Because both exist. Bear. Rar. Bear claws! Oh, it needs, the, it needs, it's the bullet plate and the flintlock staff, the two things I must not fuse. Damn it, we had so many meteor bows and stuff earlier. Tossing the eyes idols and I'm going back to <laughs> level one and I'm gonna find some. I'm, I'm gonna do this this episode. Now it must- you know what? This could almost- this could probably be another episode at this point. I might just make this a side episode where I'm just doing this because at this point that's what it's turning into. It's gonna be so underwhelming because I'm gonna get- it's gonna have a sucky me. melee star rating by the end of this I'm sure but as long as I get the upper dash arm with the melee dash attack plus I'll be so satisfied. Okay you can actually miss the the healing orbs. That's good for me to know. I didn't realize. Angelic Missile? What? God, I could go for a hamburger and an entire melon right now. Yeah, that would do me. Someone should make a program. Maybe I'll write it. <laughs> that, like, you write down what you have and what, what gear you do have and what you want, and it tells you what path to go to, to, to fuse and make it. There probably are programs out there. Oh, I even got a needle palm there. Oh, good. That's one of the ones we needed, right? I, I think. I can't believe I missed that. Twin bellows. Really not giving me the vote of confidence here. Did you see what it said when I went into the boss arena there? It was like, choose continue when you die if you want to keep going from where you left off. Thanks. Really, it's good to know you have so much faith in me, game. <laughs> Jeez. Not necessary, but thank you for the advice, Palatina. Lady Palatina. And a Kerplonk. Yay. The different colored eggs mean something about their chances to give you certain monsters and stuff, but... Anyway, okay, sorry, so Needle Palm, why did I say I want that? This should probably maybe make some way for this to happen. Again, I can make an Electroshock arm with Melee Dash plus 3 when we had it. Oh, that's, no, we already had it on that at some point, right? And that was what was giving it like 200. Okay, so as far as I'm reading here, there is, it's either a Claw X Palm, Blade X Palm, Staff X Bow, Staff X Claws, Palm X Palm, and there's one singular Staff X Palm. But other than that, I will ne I should not ever need, for just for the Upper Dash arm, Cannons, Orbitars, any of the ones that doesn't list, that I didn't just list anyway. But since it's on the flintlock stuff, what I should be looking for also is is how I can make 
the things I need it with. So like, for instance, Pinlock Staff can make Meteor Bow. How do I make Meteor Bow? I'll go to that page in the wiki. Oh, this one's a little less complete. I guess fewer people want this one. Do I still have that Gowl Blade? Nope. How about that store, huh? Uh, Cutter Palm. Another Flintlock Staff. <laughs> Why not? Put your money where your mouth is. But I can also check out what I can... So I... I can fuse two stabs to make claws, and there are some claw recipes that also go... F oh, well, here's bear paws. Oh, well, no, but I don't want to get rid of my bullet blade. Because I could fuse it into a cannon, but then I'd have to fuse it a few times to get it back into something that can actually make an upper dash arm. So it seems like I'd probably rather prioritize getting one of the partners for the flintlock staff, i.e. bear claws or uh, meteor bow. I don't know how we were getting so many of them before, but I feel like I saw bear claws and meteor bow like every two seconds. <laughs> Gotta go get some more. Oh, cannons bounce off floors and walls. Oh, oh I see. Oh, oh, oh. First things first. Bumblebee. Oh my god, I hate that. Please don't do that again. Or that. There we go. Oh my god, please don't give me the explosion. <laughs> it was so close. I remember accidentally dashing when I didn't mean to when I was on actual hardware as well. So it might also just be the way the, the game is programmed. Ooh, an actual health one. It might be a higher tier one than the one we have. Or a slightly more lightweight one. Jump missile transforms into a missile that shoots in the direction you're facing. Oh, sorry, transform into a missile. Oh, so you can you can shoot across the map that way as well. A higher tier reflect barrier, higher tier super armor. Bumblebee dodge all attacks by vanishing and circling around the enemy in an instant. Uh, uses three. Okay, so you go like, and, and, oh, okay. That could be pretty cool. Transparency, heart booster. Cool. Okay, we've got a ton of cheap ones here that we can, you know, I'm actually just going to buy them anyway. Because even, even if not for the upper dash arm, they'll be good for something. Okay, we have tons of weapon fodder now. There's got to be a way to make this happen. First question is, do we have anything that it can immediately make bear claws or meteor bow? Stealth claws and sonic can make meteor bow. Uh, let's do it. It was two stars melee, so that's not a bad start. Now, moment of truth. Will it let me have this for an upper dash arm with melee dash? Come on! Why? It's like everything but the melee dash attack. It's so mean. Why does it do it like that? Or is it not possible for upper dash arm to have that? No, surely it's... We, no, we've seen before that sometimes, like, with one ninja palm, it's different than the other, so... I think it's just bad luck, right? Maybe I ought to get melee dash attack off this flintlock staff and get it on something that's easier to find a pair for. Of course, the second I do that, I'll come across the best bear claws and meteor bow I'll ever wanted. Okay, here's a bear claws. Um... High track orbitars and twin bellows cannon. We weren't using those for anything. Now flintlock staff plus bear claws. Neither of them give you the melee dash attack. This is starting to feel like it goes beyond bad luck, right? Like there's, there's, it's trying to actually prevent me from this. Is it possible? Maybe I should just Google if it's possible. Not finding anything concrete. The fact that the question hasn't been asked tells me that it probably, it can, you, you are able to get this on it and it's just not working for me. It's your poor luck. In that case, I say let's put it on the standard orbitars instead and then try and, because at least then now it's the only power on this so we could, Increase our chances of getting one where it's one of the fewer powers, which I guess makes it more likely that it shows up on the resultant thing. And now all I gotta do is uh, try and fuse it into one of the things that shows up in this list. Which we call Claws, Blade, Palm, Staff, or Bow. So a silver bow would require a somewhat staff, which we maybe have one still, I can't remember. An angel bow would require a rose staff, which we could probably make. A divine bow, that's a very cool looking bow, would require a lancer staff, that was a little harder to come by, we think. I can make it into the rose staff, in which case all I need to do is find a different angel bow. Or raptor claws. Ooh, raptor claws should be easy enough to make, right? We've, we've found that we can make them with other stuff a lot. But I like about this one that this is the only thing that shows up on, an on this angel bow, so that it's probably going to increase the chances of it being in the final product. And if I make it into brawler claws, then I need a cutter palm or a lancer staff. I'm gonna. Tr I don't know. I, th I think the thing is, it's trying to it's trying to balance it so you don't get too many good other effects, and just have one that has like max effects on everything. So I think the fewer good other good effects I can have on it, the better. So I think probably the angel bow is the, is the right move here, even though its melee has now gone down to one star. I'm getting it onto the angel bow. And what did I say I need now? A rose staff? Yes. So first off, do we have anything that can make a rose staff easily? These two, although that loses my artillery cause, which I want. I can also make it into a cannon that only keeps the melee dash attack, but the cannons are no good for making upper dash arms. The only thing that would be would be the needle palm, <laughs> which we can mix with a pudgy palm, a samurai blade, or raptor claws. But the thing is, then it's got all these other effects on it, and the chance of this sticking around are lower, so 
the ideal right now is would be if we could have Angel Bow and then something else that also has, well, I guess it'd be the Rose Staff. Make then a Rose Staff that has basically nothing on it. So Rose Staff. Oh, this one's also got some comprehensive stuff about how to make it. That's nice. Claws and orbs can do it. I think we want to make, find a bunch more, uh, see if we can get some orbitars in here. Anything I can do to make orbitars? We have so few. Nothing makes orbitars. Everything makes clubs. <laughs> all, all anything wants to do is make a club. Great. Well, let's fuse these two. This might be a bit impulsive. Uh, and make a club just so we can see what the club fusing can do for us. I already forgot what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a rose staff for which I need. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, Jetstream Orbitars plus Artillery Claws equals Rose Staff. And this plus this equals Artillery Claws. Oh man, it's gonna have so many effects on it. Oh, whatever, let's give it a go. So if I, I do you two into that, and then I try to be careful about which or claws I do it with, but um, this plus this equals Rose Staff. Oh, it's gonna keep all five of these? There's no way it'll give the melee attack, will it? I guess I don't know that for a fact, I'm just being pessimistic. Let's try. No, of course not. It barely even keeps those two. Oh, did the number of stars maybe have some implication for the number of skills that it can keep? No, because this one keeps like three of them and it's only got two and a half stars. Ugh. <laughs> the weapon archetype that makes the most upper dash arms is palms, because palms can mix with palms to make an upper dash arm, blades to make an upper dash arm, and claws. So if I can somehow, like, is there one of these that ends up as a palm? This one takes my bullet blade. Of course it does. Oh. What I have with the angel bow is perfect, though, because it's the least... It's it's only got the melee dash stack plus four. And the fewer skills it has, I imagine, the more likely that it gets, keeps the one I want. So I don't really want to mess this up. Which means I probably do want a rose staff, which means I should keep pursuing making a bunch of those. Maybe there's a way to... Strip them of skills. I know there's some stuff you can do with the multiplayer where you can enter like matches with bots and there are weapon gems and, and they're different. I haven't looked into it at all yet and we should, <laughs> but I don't know if it helps, but it would help with this. Let me just do the outro for the previous episode now. Peace! Good. Okay. Now we can carry on recording this one. <laughs> A cursed palm. Um, I think probably what I should do is just try and mix twos to get that have, uh, that will end up with like no new um, skills. And I'm trying to make claws, arms, and cannons. Let's make some cannons. Doing our diggity dang just to make it them have as few skills as possible. I can make a sonic cannon with this, and if I had that, then all I would need to make this rose thing would be a drill arm or a royal blade. Okay, that's a little maybe tough to come by. Never mind, I can make a drill arm like this. Oh, it's gonna have so many skills. Uh, let's make this sonic cannon. Like so. Okay, I can make stealth claws with uh this is getting rid of my good skyscraper club, but I'd, I'd do it if it meant getting a good melee weapon. I would need Aurum Arbit Orbitars, which I'm, I'm assuming that's one of the boss ones that we haven't fought yet, because I've never seen them show up yet. An Upper Dash Arm. Oh, well, great. <laughs> no, not that then, I guess. If I made this Predator Cannon, I would need a Phoenix Arm. I guess we don't have those. Or a Gowl Blade, which we haven't seen in a while. Did I check the store at this point, by the way? Oh yeah, I bought everything. <laughs> Oh, there's a rose staff I can just buy. Um, should we do that? Let's try anyway. What have we got to lose at this point? Just more time. Of course not. Wait, why does it just, it doesn't even keep any of these lame ones. I'm starting to think maybe it just isn't possible. And what you really should be trying to do is just get one with good melee stats. But it's weird that like for so many other ones, it, it'll it happily take the melee dash attack and like everything else. Look at this, melee dash attack, overall defense paralysis and power attack. So it's like, it just doesn't want the melee dash attack on this particular item, but it must also be somewhat random because there's no reason that stamina and confusion shouldn't also be able to go on a upper dash arm. Like I can understand maybe if they if they were wanting to hard code this out of it because it would be too OP. Although I don't think they have to be honest, because that seems like it would just be weird design to not tell you that that's going to happen. But then sometimes it just takes all of like from like one of them like this. Is is there any chance that the one that has more powers actually has a greater likelihood to keep the power, keep more power, one of its some of its better powers? I'm pretty sure it has nothing got to do with the, the number of stars, because this Rose Staff only has one star in both, but it's keeping all of its powers. So maybe I do want to try and fuse it out of out of the Angel Bow into like a cannon, and then get it, stack up a whole bunch of powers, and maybe that makes it better? I don't know. Let's just try some stuff. <laughs> got no other ideas. So there's no upper dash arm that you can make out of a cannon, so I got to get this back into a palm or something while keeping the melee dash. All right, right now nothing keeps it with a melee dash except for the Defined Bow. 
which is with the artillery claws, which would then need a lancer staff anyway. So I guess I gotta go out and get more gear. No, I can fuse some other stuff first and then we'll see. I have so few blades, so I probably don't want to fuse one of them away. Let's fuse away. I seem to only be able to fuse the cannon with blades, orbitars, and other cannons and claws. So let's make a first blade. Nope, it doesn't like that. There's, that's nothing. I guess that's one of the boss ones. I could make a rose staff with a melee dash attack. I guess this would be easier if I had waited until a few levels after so that I would have more boss recipes unlocked, right? Huh. If I make it into a rose staff, then I either need then another angel bow or raptor claws. Probably beats having it on the cannon anyway. Anyway, to make raptor claws now. I could also make an earth maul club with melee dash attack, but my, my stats, my stars plummet. Ooh. How do I make an upper dash arm out of stealth claws? Cursed palm or ancient staff? Can I crack either of those? Okay, I can make an ancient staff here. It's my skyscraper club, but screw it. We're off the deep end now. Let's just do it. And I wanted that for a reason. That's now totally lost. I'm oh, right. It was because I wanted to turn the mel melee dash attack into stealth claws. Uh, I guess I've just screwed myself out of that. It was one of those other things that let me do that, was it? Probably. <laughs> I should have turned it to Stealth Claws first. Yes, I wanted I wanted to do Ancient Staff and Stealth Claws into Upper Dash Arm. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mission failed. This melts my brain so hard. Uh, <laughs> play Chapter 1 again. <laughs> Ooh, Idle Toss. Nice. Cool. If I make this thing and then, like, fuse it away by accident in the next, like, three missions, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Maybe it's something like there can only be one melee-style power on a, a, a gun at once. Or something like that. I can't believe I'm actually flying. Uh, you know, weapon, any of weapon, not just guns. <laughs> Look at all the skills on this one. Jeez. Hey, uh, idols, cool. Don't even care. <laughs> Doing something right now. While the cheap ones. All right, I totally forget where even is the melee attack at this point. It's on the road staff still. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the drill arm for the express purpose of just getting it off that staff and then we'll, we'll we'll try and fuse it into something else now. See how much it sticks around on like everything else? It's so easy to get it to show up on like a blade or this other blade. Oh, but not these paw pad orbitars. No, I'm certain we had one that did, was able to put the melee dash tag on paw pad orbitars before though. So it, wait, we have three ways to make paw pad orbitars and it doesn't show up on any of them at this point. But then some of the other skills are that way too, aren't all that way. Cause like my evasion here is on this, is on, this one, but not the other two. So they must just be somewhat random, right? Because also it doesn't show up on this optical blade, but does on this one. So if I give it, if I try enough times, surely it'll eventually stick on the upper dash arm. I think I'm just being, I'm not being persistent enough. So I can put it on a first blade. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's, let's check what I can put it on as it stands. A first blade, an optical blade, those are the only two. So let's see how to make an upper dash arm out of those properties of those weapon types. Either a Virgo palms, so that's presumably, um, is it Virgo or Virgo? Virgo, surely. Virgo sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I've just never realized I've never said the word out loud. That sounds like, because it's uh, a, a star sign, I'm assuming that similarly to the Sagittarius bow, you'll get that from a secret chamber in one of the missions, which I've been kindly told that they show up in uh, even numbered missions with the exception of chapter 22, whose chamber is moved over to chapter 23. So thank you, commenter. You're too kind. As we are quickly learning, I do not deserve your kindness. Uh, okay, so if I make it into an optical blade, I think that's a good move because then all I need to do is make a midnight palm. And I think we've seen that that's not the hardest thing to make. I think I want it, well, I certainly need it on that and something that isn't the drill arm anyway, because you can't fuse a drill arm into anything to make an upper dash arm because it's an arm. Um, so let's go, let's slap it on that optical blade there with all this other stuff. And now we shall go about trying to make a Midnight Palm without using my good bullet blade. All right, Midnight Palm, how do we make you? Can I make it with Guardian Orbitars and a Compact Arm? Any way I can make a Compact Arm? Surely there's gotta be in all this mess. Look at all the arms we can make. Compact Arm with two Violet Palms, sure. So I go Compact Arm, and this is all to make a Midnight Palm somehow, and I forget how. By doing this, of course, even though it gives you no melee. And then that plus the optical blade. Please don't equip. Finally, will give us one that does not give us melee dash attack plus four. Damn it! Why? But why? <laughs> what is it that the Midnight Palm has that I don't, huh? Does the value number have something to do with it? It shouldn't. No, because here the higher value one has the most skills. 
But here, Midnight Palm is the lower value one, and it keeps all its skills, so it's gotta just be random and I'm having bad luck, right? That's gotta be- that, that, I can't think of any other way <laughs> that this is going. It would- because it wouldn't be that they just- this- this particular skill can't show up on this particular weapon, but that's like- they didn't say anything about that ever? That would be ridiculous, right? It must be the other way. Hold on! Did the one I have on 2DS even have sprinting melee? Dum, bum, 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 da, 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 da. It does! It does! I can't believe it! The one I have here does have melee dash attack. Plus three, in fact. So that, this is what a plus three will do to your dash attack when I have no extra melee, as it brings up to 184. So if it has, like, any melee stars whatsoever and I get this plus four on it, this is gonna be a dope-ass melee weapon. Okay, so it certainly can- it can, that, that skill can show up on it, because this- I, that, that's what I had here. So I'm just having really, really awful luck, probably, is what that means. That and I don't necessarily understand 100% the way it works, I guess. And now I can't fuse it to anything that'll keep the melee dash except by, with my stupid artillery claws. So it's off to battle again. Oh hey, 530 weapons, thank you. Hmm, I wonder why there are golden laurels on these two but a green one on this one. Maybe they just, the colors just change as you go on. Lightning of judgment, what? <laughs> I just found it in a box, now I'm gonna go bazap and <laughs> just lightning them. That's wild. But also long-term unhelpful. Fool enemies into thinking you're finished and then turn invisible making an attacks pass through you. Nice. I like that there's like a little bit pile of drool. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll take a break when I get this upper dash arm, okay game? Don't tell me what to do. Hey, Skyscraper Club. Oh, I've got one I already had, even when I had a 93% chance. Let's see if this confirms, like I was thinking, that the, the range attack of the Skyscraper arm is like pretty good. Did I say Skyscraper arm? I meant Skyscraper Club. A rather modern look. Charge shots deal massive damage up close, right, okay. And it's heavier than most clubs, like it slows you down more, okay, got it. That also wasn't my imagination. <laughs> okay, so melee dash attack is on the optical blade. I can fuse it to this and get it onto the hedgehog claws, raptor claws. I can, I can put it on ra hedgehog claws or raptor claws right now, which is already good to have options of where I want to put it. Let's just buy the cheap ones again, get more fodder. I wonder, there's gotta be an upper limit to the number of weapons you can carry at once. Uh, stuff it, I'll got, get this, these two as well. I'm already gonna have to play a fair bit off camera to get enough money, though I feel comfortable challenging Chapter 4 anyway. So may as well not hold back on spending. So Hedgehog Claws or Raptor Claws, which one are we thinking? And I don't know if it matters whether I want the side dash charge shot or the, sorry, uh, dash continuous fire. Because I'm still not sure if, if having more other skills that are high powered is better or worse for your chances of getting the one you want. So if I turn it to the Hedgehog Claws, I either need a Midnight Palm, which we have one already, or a Knuckle Staff, which I think we've seen and we've, we were able to make without too much difficulty. If I turn it to the Raptor Claws, I either need a Rose Staff, second the page stops moving around, or a Needle Palm. So I'm thinking Hedgehog Claws sound like the better option there, so let us do that. Gallo Blade, which we just picked up. Let us fuse that with the Optical Blade to make Hedgehog Claws. Ka-chunk. We have a lot of options of, as to what um, we can fuse it into now. We could uh, fuse it into a bull arm, fortune bow, babel club. Basically, it'll go on to anything but <laughs> the upper dash arm. I can't believe that. Look how many it's willing to do that aren't the upper dash arm. So if I got it onto the fortune bow, I need a Scorpio staff. I think we want the ones with the more options where we can help it, which would be, we want it, we want it to be on claws, a palm, or staff. So not bows. Doesn't stick on the staff. Let's see about using some other stuff to do something creative. Actually, really, whenever I run out of options, rather than starting to fuse them and running out all my gear, I should just go for another mission. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to play this first mission three times in a row. Sorry to get a whole bunch waiting. of gear that way. Holy crap. It's, it's been too long. Do I have any hard drive space left for this? <laughs> oh my god, I've only got 40 gigs left. Maybe I won't play it three times in a row. Yeah. Heavenly Three's light. Also got a new sky jump somewhere in there. Uh, unleash a light that hurts approaching enemies. Cool. This little AOE egg thing, I guess. Egg. Cryazer. Feels like they're making fun of us, doesn't it? Sil silver bow, optical blade, all those things that we were just using to try and make an upper dash arm. I have a frankly undignified number of weapons now. <laughs> Should be able to make something work with this. Where's the melee thing again? 
It's on the hedgehog claws. I can pass it off to the black club, at which, place, at which point it's the only thing, which is neat. The fortune bow, at which point we need to bows we don't want it to be on. I'm not, I don't mind horribly putting on an, on a club as an intermediary, like that, that black club, actually. That seems like a good thing to do. I'm still not convinced of if having other skills is better or worse. And at least this bumps the melee a bit, so go for it. I can put it into a staff, uh, an orb staff, which point we need either a hawkeye bow or artillery claws. Uh, blades are usually not the ideal for this, but if I put it into a Gao blade, then all I need is an- Oh no, I need an Alrum palm, and we haven't found any of those, so probably they're not- they're a not-for-now kind of thing. If I put it into a burning palm, then we either need a bullet blade, artillery claws, <laughs> or a ninja palm. That's not fair! That's good. Well, but then again, I would sacrifice one of the artillery claws or the bullet blade for this upper dash arm thing. Go big or go home. Let's see if it, it'll keep it with one of them. Because even though that's the, those are the two weapons we do want to keep. Not this one. Electroshock arm. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yes! Sorry about it, Bullet Blade. I'm taking this two and a, one and a half star upper dash arm with melee dash attack plus four! This had better be worth the amount of time we spend into it. God heck it. Gosh, heck it all to Hecklesbury and back. How much damage does this do? Yeah, two. No, okay, now two hundred fifty. That's pretty good. Could have been way more if we had a slightly higher melee delay attack, or I gotten one with us higher melee stars. But considering how friggin' long that took, I'm very happy with two hundred fifty. Man, that's. I mean, that's pretty some pretty solid damage. Oh, what a relief. I really wish you could, like, flag them or, or put favorites or something so I'd never get rid of that. So of our original set of weapons, uh, I've got the artillery claws still. We're gonna keep the upper dash arm, but I think the rest of this is all junk. I haven't... Uh, untested junk. Oh, we did it! Yay! <laughs> it may seem like, um, that's not very much compared to this, considering you can do this one pretty fast. And I guess there's some... there's... That may technically be true. This artillery cause may still be our better weapon, really, but I think part of what you want to bear in mind I get, is that from like a mid-range here, doing this back and forth, uh, I'm not hitting nearly as many of them because normally, like when you're when you're a boss, you're, you're somewhat oftentimes you're in around this range. So there is that. Whereas with the upper dash arm, I'm just going to be sprinting in to get close anyway, and then I'll be wonk and wonk. And you can do it pretty quickly. The other thing is that since it's a sprinting melee deck, it puts you on like the other side of them, so. You can, like, do this sort of thing and then just kind of end up on the other side, and, and so it also acts evasively, I suppose. In terms of range capability, it's not got lows, but it's got, um, side dash continuous fire does a little bit more damage. Nah, range is really not what it's it's meant for, though. It also gives me a bit more walking speed and, um, melee defense, so that's... I'm, I'm very happy with this outcome. Could really have gone with for it uh, having more melee stars on it, but whatever. That'll be- we could maybe be, be easier to orchestrate such a thing later on in the game, when we have more fuse options available to us. I'm very happy with that for now. So before I close off, why don't I just try and uh, fuse a bunch of other random junk and see if we can make some other decent weapons, because now the only two we have are in our main roster, our artillery claws and the upper dash arm. Let's try and make like a good club or something. Oh yeah, good staff. I could really go for a good staff, like that flintlock one we had. Make something with four stars- uh, an arm with four stars melee here. This thing's dash attack is... 68, not much. Uh, <laughs> range capability is okay, and normal melee attacks are... Yeah, it's got nothing special, this whole thing. Actually, maybe perhaps the right thing to do would be just sell all these other weapons. By the way, how does this untempered Skyscraper Club do with its uh, charge attack? I reckon it won't be hitting like 200 like our other one had. Oh, it's actually still pretty good. Oh, this one has full health boost plus two. Oh, interesting. Probably still doesn't beat upper dash arm for sheer uh, damage, but good to know that skyscraper clubs are also just kind of good for that sort of thing. An inside staff here with three and a half stars ranged. 67, 118. So I guess the, the shot homing at, at like uh, bonus doesn't do anything when you have homing turned off. I thought maybe if you had homing turned off, the shot homing would like try and get it back up to around what it is by default. This isn't a horrible weapon though. Charge time's a little unpleasant, but if you if you were to go for one of these and then uh, keep your distance, you could be doing some pretty good damage from afar. Oh yeah, even the normal shots c carry pretty far. Yeah, this absolutely be the sort of thing to for keep playing keep away. How about this ancient staff we were messing around with earlier? I want a good staff on our team. 
Whoa. Is that <laughs> sorry. Sorry, let me let me let me sorry, let me try that again. What's that do? Cool stuff is what it does. Did are all the charge attacks that? Neat. Well it doesn't go very far. Sort of defeats the purpose of the staff. But it's an interesting thing all its, uh, itself. This fortune bow's got some extra range on it and dash continuous fire, so. Oh yeah. Not bad, not bad. Not too far off the other one we had, actually. Although the range isn't much to speak of. So it's kind of like the same thing as my artillery claws, but a little more localized in terms of purpose. Also, bumps my speed a heck of a lot, though. Look at me go. Anyway, like I was saying, I might there might be some sense to just selling them all off since we're so broke now. Although I'm going to have to play a lot off camera anyway just to get it back, so I may as well. I'll, I'll sell some of the ones that actually sell for something worth selling for, just to get a bit of buffer of hearts here, but uh, we, we'll try a the other ones. See what we can come up with. What would be really neat would be a flintlock staff with backwards dash charge shot on it, but I already had one very long adventure <laughs> in trying to get a particular weapon with the particular skill I wanted. I th I'm not sure I I'm capable of going through it again just yet. Interesting. Earthwall Club with five range. Let's give that a go. It'll also give me a chance to see how its melee capability is without the six stars. Just so I can compare how much the stars actually have a, like, weight on it. Oh, okay, the stars mean a heck of a lot, because it was doing, like, 110 on each hit before, so. They have even more impact than I thought. I thought it would be, like, well, I don't know. Anyway, I thought it would be different. <laughs> That means that the range attack on this thing is pretty solid now. Kind of like the uh, Skyscraper one, actually. Not quite that good. Like a Gowl Blade with two and a half in both. Makes these two get a Burst Blade of two and a half melee. Let's give, let's see how that works. I do like that you can start with two pretty weak weapons and by fusing over and over again, you eventually will have a weapon as good as some of the later ones you can find. The so Charge Shot isn't much. These within, uh, normal shots aren't much because the range is all zero stars. And how's that melee? Dashing 62, and combo around 60 also, so not that thrilling. Ooh, here's a flintlock staff with three ranged. Would be kind of nice to have one of those back, wouldn't it? After all, the last one we had, didn't the effects on it weren't actually anything that special. It, all, all the only effect it had was dash charge shot or something like that, that we weren't actually using. Or no, it was dash continuous shot, I think. And still the charge shot was pretty brilliant. Let's see how we like it. Even with no special effects on this thing, I'm pretty pleased with its uh, ranged attack. Especially if you hit from far away, it's even more damage and all. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Effective range is about 100 meters, but at that point, um, you're doing like 300 damage. So this one plus this quick charge thing, I think is really... That's, this is really the, the play, if you're going to have one of these. Get the hell away and then char quick charge and do a whole bunch of this stuff. So yeah, I'm even... I mean, it would be awesome if we found one that had, like, dash charge shot. But uh, the Flintlock staff, I'm very happy with just generally. All right, let's fuse these last bunch and see if we can't make something else. Interesting. Nah, not much going on here, so we may as well sell them. Ah, uh, well, it's not the South Gala Blaze. It's only worth 80, but we'll sell this one for 300. All right, mission accomplished. Uh, upper Dash Arm has been generated here. Let me get into the sell menu before I ruin everything. Episode 3A, done. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit that. It was <laughs> so long. As in what tactic I will employ editing it. But that's all for now. Next video to go up to the channel is gonna be some more Fireman 3 Houses, our Vernon Wind Assassins only run. Thank you so very much for coming around to this weird, weird video of Kid Icarus Uprising. Hopefully I will see you around, Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace. God, just, they're using so many battalions here. I guess it's, it's when they can't kill you with melee that they're like, let's use, they finally decide to actually use their battalions. Um, oh, they tomahawk that one back? That's useful. Now they've only got one archer. Ow! Hey! What? Rude. Rude and undignified is what you are. <laughs>